Hey guys, it's Nimade, that African butterfly, here with another Losing Weight Sucks vlog. Uh, it's been a while, like a long while. Um, the last video was January of last year, and then the pandemic happened, and then pff, all the things, all the all the reasons and excuses, because there's a little bit in both in both fields. Um, but no matter. Here we are back again, right? Um, you know, how many times can you start over? As many times as it takes until it sticks. And with each time, you have to go in with the confidence that this will be the time. So this will be the time, guys. Um, I'm going to do the vlogs a little differently this time. Before, I would do them about once a week, and I would edit and try to, like, have clips and blah, blah, blah. Um, but then it made it harder for me to do it because I've literally so much going on um so what i'm gonna do this time is use it literally just as a vlog and just talk and you know sometimes you'll get me like this so i had to record something or you'll get me in a bonnet and no makeup and it is what it is because it's not about you know what i look or how cute i am like there's other avenues to see me that way uh this one's just for accountability uh, more so for me um, but also to help anyone else who needs a little encouragement along the way, um, who's dealing with it on their own end, whether you're just trying to get healthy or trying to lose weight or trying to feel better, like whatever your reasons are for trying to make any type of lifestyle change, lifestyle change is your reason. Um, but it can be difficult. It just is, no matter what you're trying to change. Um, and I've done changes in other areas. This continues to be the hardest area for me, which is very frustrating very frustrating um but we all have our battles uh so you know but whatever area it is that is a struggle for you you know hopefully we can struggle on together and encourage each other um so i'll just be here and these probably won't be very long just a few minutes to tell you how i'm doing that day or what i'm feeling um i'm on day two of getting back on track i don't want to say dieting because it's not a diet um i am though right now drinking um uh, these awesome uh, shakes, or not shakes, uh, juice presses. Um, there's different flavors and types, um, and they're homemade. Uh, I'm drinking those for like one or two meals a day, depending on how I feel. Um, and I'm doing it with intermittent fasting, so only during certain hours. Um, but that's definitely not something that I want to sustain long term. It's really just more so like, oh, I've been feeling crappy. Like, what can I do to like flush and restart everything like at least a little bit to then forge on to like the real game plan um and for the real game plan i think i want to look more into intuitive eating um i've heard a lot about it it sounds like it's a great way to go as far as being sustainable um i don't know about you but something i hate about when i'm in like weight loss mode or get healthy mode is it feels so all consuming like i can say when i'm not in that type of mode where i'm focused on my food or whatever i when I'm hungry, I, I eat or I order something and then I go about my my life. When I am in that mode, I'm sure a lot of it is purely psychological. But when I am in that mode of like, I'm going to be good, it suddenly becomes like food is so like all consuming. It's like, well, what are we going to eat next? And what can we eat? And what can't we eat? And how's this going to impact us? And I personally hate it. I can't stand having that much of my brain energy <laughs> consumed with like food and diet stuff. I... <clears throat> <clears throat> I absolutely loathe it, to be honest. Um, but you got to go through it to hopefully uh, quiet the noise. But I'm hoping that changing to like intuitive, intuitive eating will will help with that. So we'll see. We just got to get through this noise period and the hungry period and the you know trying to figure out because there's a lot of times like with your body where you especially get over like different like coping mechanisms or just different things that you tell yourself to get through certain things that you kind of have to unteach yourself and like check yourself on like no that doesn't make you feel better you just think it makes you feel better it actually makes you feel worse uh and it's not fun it's not easy growth is never easy it's never fun um but yeah so that's that for today and hopefully not hopefully cutting out those I hopes, I thinks, I feel, I know. Um, so I will be back again tomorrow and leave a comment with whatever you're trying to work on and fix or improve or just sustain, because just sustaining 
is sometimes the most difficult. Um, but let me know how your journey is going. And I hope you guys have a good day and see you tomorrow. Bye.